Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in once again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense. Today, today, today. It's getting a little warm out here, even in the Philly and the Northeast. So I know all y'all West Coast people, all y'all Florida people, all y'all uh, Texas, Southern, uh, Arizona, all y'all already getting hit by the heat. So it's about that time, man. We start talking about, you know, warm weather fragrances. And a lot of people these days care about performance. So today we're going to put those two topics together. We're going to talk about the longest lasting warm weather fragrances in my collection, at least. I don't know about y'all's, but these are mine. Um, so yeah, these are really... I would say pointed at warm weather, like I said before. So we're going to start it off by talking about the honorable mention right here. I, this is probably number one for me personally, but I feel like I talk about it so much that y'all getting tired of it. But I wanted to let y'all know that it's still number one. And that's Club Denny Wheat Intense Man. Club Denny Wheat Intense Man. This stuff lasts all day, bro. But I'm not, like I said, it's disqualified. I talk about it too much. I need to give y'all something new. Everybody in this niche knows about Club Dean and Wheat Intense Man already. So this is not this, this would not be really educational if I put this in the in the countdown. So this is an honorable mention. But like I said, if you don't have this, grab it. You will not regret it. Most complimented fragrance in my collection. Aventus, clone, good stuff, man. All day on you and some more, bro. So definitely check this out. And this is the EDP, by the way. This is not the EDT. But I do hear the EDT has even better performance than this. So hey man. Just buy, buy what you want and uh, test it out, bro. But, yeah, this is an honorable mention. But let's go ahead and hop into the real list. So, at number five, we got from Alexandria Fragrances, we got Black Panther. This is a clone of Bulgari's Tigar. And this is Black Panther. This is uh, Citrus, uh, Woods, and Ambroxan. It's very, very similar to, uh, to the style of Dior Sauvage. But it doesn't smell like Dior Sauvage. It just has that citrus on the top. That woody base and that ambroxan that really, really push it out and really gravitate towards people's noses. But this thing is fresh, it's versatile all day on you. You can go probably go nose blind to it due to the ambroxan. It's really a strong uh, note in all DNAs, but man, this stuff smells so good. Like I told y'all the story about this. I was in California one time. I was at a breakfast place. I was drinking my apple juice. I went back up to the counter to get another one. And the clerk was like, well, the cashier was like, man, what is that you got on? And I was like, my clothes? And I, he was like, nah, that fragrance. And I told him about it. He had no idea. As you know, we're weird, so we should expect people to not have any idea. But he was just like, man, that smells great. He was like, he just bought a new, uh, he bought something, I think. I forgot. It was from like Jimmy Choo or something like that. But yeah, this is really a big attention catcher. It's all year round. You really can wear it all year round. But I think it's best for the, the high heat with that citrus at Woody Base, man. This stuff smells great. Now, here is very, very close to a Men in Black to, uh, Bagari Tiger because I never smelled that before. Oh, man, this is really good stuff, man. It's simple, but it's straight to the point. It'll get you a lot of compliments in the last all day. So, yeah, man. Bagari Tiger. Not Bagari Tiger. Black Panther from Alexandria Fragrances is number five. At number four, we got Satur Rasasi. Hey, man. I just copped this. Just did a review on it. But man, this stuff is it's so funny because Gucci Guilty gets killed for having terrible longevity and projection. But the clone of it has some of the best longevity and projection I have ever seen on a on a warm weather fragrance, man. This stuff is spicy, it's aromatic, it's got a green feel to it. It's almost special event, like different, but at the same time, this can be a signature scent every single day of your life. And you will not, like, nobody will look at you sideways because this is fresh. This is, like, it can be elegant. It can be whatever you want it to be. And it definitely has that life of the party type of vibe to it. It's, it's special. It's something about it that's special. I don't know exactly what it is. But this stuff lasts, I would say, 9 to 10 hours. 9 to 10 hours. This stuff is great, great, great. I, I made a mistake, and when I first wore it, I oversprayed it. I killed myself and choked myself out, which never happens. So that's when I know I knew. That's when, that's when I knew that this fragrance was the real deal, and I had to be careful with the trigger. So yeah, definitely be careful with the sprays on this one. But this thing is strong. This is a dupe of uh, Gucci Guilty, and like I can always say, if you just want Gucci Guilty with better performance, please cop this, man. Stop buying Gucci Guilty. It is. It smells good, but I promise you, it's not gonna last longer than Satur Ta by Rasasi. That's number four. 
All right, number three, man. We got a sleeper right here. We got a big time sleeper. This one, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This is one of my first fragrances. This is like salty, marine, aquatic, everyday type, and it's, and it's high heat. This is probably one of my number one high heat scents, though, because it smells good, it's clean, it's easy to wear, especially on a beach or a pool, man. Like, this is this is it. Ah, oh, man, I forgot how good this stuff smells. But, like, this is my OG. And I know that this performs well because when I first bought it, I was wearing this in the winter and, like, December, January, February type stuff. And I was using, like, two sprays and getting all day longevity with this stuff, man. So I know this stuff packs a punch. I didn't even know, uh, I mean, I guess fragrances don't have to be seasonal, but I guess some fragrances work better in other seasons. I had no idea that that was a thing. So I was just wearing this like, okay, I'm going to rock it. You know, it is what it is. But little did I know this is a, a, a warm weather fragrance and it was performing like a beast in a, in a fall and winter, man. So shout out to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This stuff smells great. I hear it smells just like the original Honesty with just better performance, but the grapefruit in this, I think it's pretty good. I don't know. Is it grapefruit? It's something. I know it's like a salty aquaticness in this. It just pops throughout and it just smells great. I know a lot of people say they get like a, a cat pee smell from this. I do get that whatsoever. But hey, you know, some people get different things with different fragrances. Skin chemistry is different, all that good stuff. But as far as high heat, high level fragrances, you can't get much better than Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, man. This is number three on the list right here. All right, number two is kind of controversial because a lot of people will say that this is not a warm weather fragrance, but I kind of think that it is, and it can be. It just works, man. The ingredients, I don't know how it does, but it just does. This one is Al Harmain Amber Oud Gold Edition right here. Al Harmain Amber Oud Gold Edition. Now, this one is a clone of Zherzhov's Herb Apura. This is a sweetie, sticky fruit bowl, in my opinion. This is fruit. This is citrus. This is melon. And it's like coated in vanilla syrup. That's what it smells like. But this stuff is so strong. So good, too. It can definitely... This is definitely a life of the party type of fragrance, man. This is loud. It's sweet. It's sticky. It has no choice but to grab people's attention. That's why I would say be careful. And I wouldn't suggest y'all wearing this to work. But if you do, man, you definitely going to get some reactions. I promise you. But this is really, really good stuff, man. Kind of, I would say it leaves kind of juvenile, but hey, I'm 25 and I'll still rock it. No problem. A lot of people say this leans feminine. I can see that. But hey, I'm going to rock it. It's, it kind of works for me because I'm a happy, smiley person. So, but man, this stuff is so sweet, addicting, and just loud. And I think you can get away with it in the summertime. I don't know why because it has like vanilla, I think, and tonka in the base. And the sweet fruits, but it just for some reason just works. I don't know what it is. It just works in the high heat, man. I can't explain it. This, I mean, you don't have to trust me, but just give it a try. Sample it, see how you like it. But this thing is strong and it's gonna last you a whole day easily, bro. Just be careful. We spray this on your clothes, it ain't coming off. <laughs> it's really not. But some people may want that, you know. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, man. Number one. This stuff. It's a new flanker out of this, but I'm still working on my OG bottle. And if you know, you know. Rasasi Hawass. Rasasi Hawass. Now this stuff is strong, man. This is this is plum. This is spice. This is citrus. Now a lot of people say this is what an Invictus Aqua 2016 clone. I wasn't really a fraghead back in 2016, so I can't comment on that. But Regardless, as its own fragrance, this stuff smells amazing. Uh, it's a big, it's a pretty big confident beast. I would say a lot of people trying to kind of lean towards it has that bubble gummy type feel. Um, the new Rasasi Hawass Ice is out. I know that's out, but I'm not really going to plan on upgrading until I get through this bottle first. And as you can see, I got quite a bit to go, especially with my size collection. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be rocking this heavy throughout the summer and springtime, man. This is so, so good. I have yet to wear it. I might wear it tomorrow, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. But great, great fragrance. You can't go wrong with this. It is cheaper now that the new Hawass Ice is out. I will say, though, I would probably go with the Hawass Ice. I haven't tried it yet, but I hear great things about it. And if you can find it for a good price, I would probably go for the Ice. But if you can't get the Ice and you're still stuck with the OG, I would say rock with it because it's going to perform great. It's going to smell great. It's going to get you a lot of confidence nine times out of ten. I'm not going to guarantee that. But... It's really, really good for what it is, and it's definitely going to pack a punch in these high heat spring and summer days, man. 
So yeah, man, that's pretty much my top five. Like I said, the honorable mention, clothed in the wheat intense man, EDP, just because we talk about it way too much. Number five, we got Alexandria's Black Panther, Bulgari Tiger Clone. We got a uh, Satur Satur Taf from a uh, Rasasi Gucci Guilty Clone at number four. We got Dolce and Gablana, Light Blue, Intense at number three. Then at number two, we got Al Haramain, Amber Oud Gold Edition at number two, which is a clone of Zhirzhov's Herba Pura. And then at number one, we got the Rasasi Hawaz, a Victus Aqua 2016 clone. Great, great stuff, man. Got a lot of plum in here, too. For y'all plum lovers out there that love that uh, Initio, uh, what is that? Latafa Vintage Radio, Initio Paragon. So definitely check that out, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in as always, though. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.